Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is my so-called C not C video uh, build here because I use the Firefly most of the times for legendary. This is for legendary, uh, my CC build that I use or missions if I need to. Uh, it's basically CC as long as you can for EMP or for the Firefly. Um, and EMP is important on legendary because you have a lot of dogs, mini tanks, uh, the backpacks of the heavies, you can CC them uh, with an EMP. That's why I run an EMP jammer here. So for turning them off and I use a firefly uh, for like controlling the enemies here. Um, weapon, obviously any weapon will do it. I use the assault rifle because I like the um, the handling of the ACR here and put uh, purple duration on it. Headshots grants 50% status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply. So basically you don't want to shoot that weapon on an enemy on a head before you want to apply a status effect to an enemy which you really need to be as high as possible so for the heavies as example on legendary um, if you go for the heavies like the second chopper that comes on this reunion area as example there will be two heavies out of it before you uh, apply a status effect to them shoot them in the head or shoot the enemy before that group comes out shoot one in the head get the buff up and then apply the next status effect which is in my case and most of the times an EMP because I can turn off their backpacks a little bit longer then and they don't shred uh, with their backpacks all my DPS players. So your part on a legendary here is like to keep the, uh, your group alive by controlling the NPCs. It's a shame that, um, it, that Massive decided to nerf down the CC so much that they did. So it's not that viable anymore. And that's why I would always use a legendary high-end build here, a high-end build in legendary instead of an Eclipse set. The Eclipse has good status effect, it has good skill haste. Uh, yeah, I know that the status effect spreads to others, but the effect doesn't last that long. It, they come out of EMP, as example, the yellow dog on the beginning, the mini tank. If you run an Eclipse build, you EMP him, and he comes out of the EMP in 1.2 seconds. There's no point using an EMP on him anyway. Just melt him down because it's not long enough. With this build here, it's more like a 3 point something seconds that you can EMP him. So you use three times China Light here, because China Light is like skill haste and status effects. The first one is, yeah, okay, explosive damage, we don't need that, but we want these two here. And then it goes like skill haste, status effects, all the way through the build. I used the improvised holster here, uh, just because before title update 11, we had, uh, this, this was the only holster um, that where you have a, like a yellow mod slot in it. So we can put another skill haste in here. Now, after title update 11, you could easily exchange, like you can run like uh, the golden here, you can run it here, or you can run here and use China Light here. Just try to craft a gloves, knee pad, or an improvised holster, um, which has then the highest status effect and skill health that you can gain for. Um, this one here had a skill tier already on it. You need that skill tier. Improvised stuff can roll with whatever they want. It can be a uh, weapon damage here, blue, yellow, blue, red, 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 whatever. You get my point there when you when you craft them. So try to go like as high as you can here. I didn't, I didn't like min max it here because I'm not very lucky on the crafting part. So I kept this one here, which is good enough for me. That is effect would be more important than skill haste, but I'm too lazy to craft another one. You could easily min max it if you keep crafting. So. This is the improvised holster, three times China Light, like I said, because of the bonus we got from the brand set, skill haste, status effect, and skill haste and status effect everywhere. Mods, obviously, just skill haste everywhere you can, and the improvised holster gives us another mod slot, so we can put another 12% skill haste in there. What you could also do is, like, you could get rid of the China Light here, in total, um, and make this one here like a golden, uh, here, like, okay, keep it on the China Light or whatever. The problem here is that you don't have status effect uh, on the first brand. Uh, this is only on the golden. You could use though, like I said, use golden here and use that Hana U here. Hana U gives us skill haste on the first one and then just use improvised stuff here and make it like status effect skill haste everywhere and have another mod slot for like another 24% skill haste here. But skill haste is not the goal we're aiming for. Uh, skill haste is good. You get your firefly back uh, a bit quicker. You get your EMP a bit quicker. But 
it's good enough believe me it's really good enough um status effect is more important uh, because you want to keep them down on under control uh, Acosta backpack obviously for obviously choice you can overcharge yourself whenever you throw a grenade so uh, when you throw a grenade and you have skill t6 it will overcharge you so prepare yourself if you like encounter as example again district unit arena you go to the garage before you go into the garage, throw a fire nade behind you to give yourself an overcharge. Then run in with your firefly in your hand, mark them all down, throw the firefly, and the status effect will last so long your DPS players will not have a single problem uh, killing all the enemies. That's why I use it. And also, you have more nades, uh, which I like on District Unit Arena or on any other legendary. Um, we get an armor kit, we get three grenades capacity. 25% uh, ammo capacity, which is not that important, but we also get like 10% status effect from that backpack. That's what people tend to forget on the Acosta. Um, you could run a vial mask, but why though? There is no point running the vial um, because this one gives us another status effect. The vial does nothing for us. Um, I don't know why people are running the vial mask on, this, on a status build. This is much more important here. More nades, more status effect. And more nades, I explain now because I like to run Mad Bomber on my chest piece. This gives us another 50% grenade radius and we run fire nades. So you have a really big area you can cover with your fire nade and CC the enemies, which is a lot more important than anything else in my opinion. But run whatever you want there. If you don't like the nader, uh, you could run another talent, which gives you whatever, uh, I don't care. So. Weapon, as I said, rapid perpetuation, uh, three times China Light, one Golden is important, and then improvised for the mod slot. And that's basically it. That's my C, not C build. Uh, I hope you like it, uh, enjoy it. It's basically just for Legendary, for um, any other mission, like Heroic in a group or so. I would always prefer Eclipse because of the spreading. It makes it so much easier. But the spreading on Legendary doesn't work that much good. Uh, it doesn't work that good because Enemies and legendaries are a little bit, a little bit different, the, uh, the white task, because if you see them, like let's example with a fire, um, they start to burn for like half a second, they wiggle with their arms, and then they start running again. So there's no point on using fire on CC on a legendary. Always like use a firefly, they get blind, use EMP. You could also use foam, uh, which lasts a long time. You could also use a sticky EMP here um, if you don't want to EMP like everything, like the drone ladies, and you don't, uh, you only focus on let's say um, EMPing a mini tank uh, or EMPing a dog. Uh, but I like to use the EMP here because when I overcharge myself with a Costa backpack, the EMP will cover the whole room, and I turn off these drone ladies for a long time. They can't use their drones, which is so uh, really really needed in most of the missions. So like I said. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. Leave a comment if you do so. Uh, leave a comment if you don't like. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care. Do whatever you want with it. Um, and yeah, see you on the next one. Bye bye.